Jerk Routes Football. Smash that like button. Welcome to Jerk Routes. Today's tutorial is all about the route tree. Now the route tree you see on your screen uh, in green, that's the basic route tree that you would expect to find at every level of football, from Pop Warner to the NFL and each level in between. Now not every route is represented on this route tree. Ironically, the name of this channel, Jerk Routes, the Jerk Route is not listed on the route tree. It's not a basic route, it's a much more advanced route. These are the nine basic routes that you would expect to see in many, many offenses, from the flat to the slant, all the way to the fly pattern, the go, and then the corner and the post. Now I'm gonna go through some of them uh, now and just give you an idea of what you're looking at and what you're gonna see on these uh, routes. But the flat route is specifically designed to get a player a few yards up the field and then toward the flat, toward the area of the field near the boundary. Um, the slant is a quicker throw, something that happens very quickly. Um, the player goes up the field, that's the stem of the route, and then makes a quick cut and then slants up. That's a quick throw and a quick read for the uh, quarterback, and many teams use it that way. The comeback and the curl are very similar routes, if not exactly the same. Um, the only thing you would do differently is the, the cut, the angle cut would be a little bit differently. Curl routes are particularly effective for fast players that can put the defensive back in a bind by showing that he's going up the field, he threatens him up the field, and then he turns around quickly, or he curls around or comes back to the ball, and the defensive player cannot react quick enough uh, to actually cover him in that situation. Um, the outs and ends and the digs, those are all basic. Uh, the out is, a, is a, a, a play where you're gonna go up, you're going to cut at a certain distance, uh, a certain spot on the field, and then go toward the sideline. That's generally one of the hardest throws, depending on how deep it is for a quarterback to make. Um, particularly the 15 yard out in the NFL is one of the toughest throws for guys to make. Uh, if you're on the other hash mark, it's, it's very difficult and it's usually reserved for the strongest arm quarterbacks. When you're looking at draft prospects and you hear guys talk about arm strength, what they're talking about arm strength is not just the ability to throw the ball far, but also to throw that 15 yard out to the opposite boundary um, away from that hash mark and do it with velocity so that it's not defensed by the defense before it can get there. Um, the end's a little bit uh, easier in terms of the physicality of the throw, but you're also going to be running into, your receiver's going to be running into an area of the field that's got a lot of attention, a lot of uh, coverage guys and a lot of hitters inside that could do something. Um, the end and the dig are basically the same. The last three on the route tree uh, that would be the corner route, the fly route, the go route, and then the post route. Those are specific because of where you're headed. And so the corner route, you're going to go up the field. Your stem is going to go a little deeper than you would on the out generally. And then you're going to cut to the corner to the pylon. Some people call it a flag route. Years ago, it was known as a flag route because originally the pylons were flags. Um, now they're pylons. It's generally called a corner route. The post is actually going right at the gold post. A lot of people don't know this, but for many, many years in the NFL, the goalposts were actually contained in the end zone. Guys would actually run into them and sometimes injure themselves, or the ball would actually crank off the, the upright or crank off the crossbar um, when the quarterback would miss his throw. Um, and so when you talk about a post route, that is the marker that they're using. You're going to go up the stem, and then when you make your cut, you're going to break toward the post. Um, and then... Uh, now, though, the post is, are not in the end zone, of course, for safety reasons. And then the fly or the go route, you're going straight up the field. Uh, it's a speed-based route. Um, a lot of guys will do double moves on it. They'll fake like they're going to do the out, the end, the dig. They'll fake like they're going to do the curl, the comeback, and then they'll go up the field on the fly route. That's not a, a completely a traditional fly route. A fly route would just be straight, but um, that double move is something that uh, faster guys can use on defensive backs when running that route. In my next video which should be dropping in the next few days. I'm gonna take you into the actual game on the Madden platform and show you some of these routes that are being run by wide receivers and tight ends against air. If you're enjoying this series, I would encourage you to smash that like button. Please subscribe and also leave comments about anything uh, that you want to see in future videos. We will see you soon. Jerk Routes Football.